Hey, I'm Emily Dreyfus. And I'm Corrine Levy. And welcome to Rumor Has It's special year-end show where we round up the biggest tech rumors of 2012. And then we look forward to the rumors that may come true in 2013. Without delay, the biggest rumor of this year, an Apple HDTV. Though there is little evidence so far that this thing is actually in the works, the rumor that it could be released at any moment have persisted all year. To recap briefly, before his death, Steve Jobs told his biographer that he had finally cracked the code to simplifying and reinventing your television. Since the biography came out last year, we've been waiting. The most recent rumor from the Wall Street Journal reports that Apple, its longtime manufacturing partner Foxconn, and television maker Sharp are all collaborating on this project. Even this rumor suggests that it's only in the early testing phases. But if true, 2013 does seem like the earliest that we'll see Steve Jobs' last product gift to the world. The most obvious of the 2013 Apple rumors is about the iPhone 5S, of course. It seems like the iPhone 5 was barely in people's hands before rumors of the iPhone 5S already started swirling. According to analysts, the next iPhone will launch in June or July with a new Super HD camera and screen, a better battery, and NFC technology, finally. It also could potentially have up to 128 gigs of flash storage, and it could come in different colors. There is no doubt in my mind that the iPhone 5S will be released next year, sometime after Q2. That's just what they do. Agreed. People that are on the S track of iPhone iterations will be very happy with the improvements, and people who just got the iPhone 5, like us, will just be happy to wait for the iPhone 6. And maybe grumbling a little bit, too. Next up, Android fans like our fiancés have their panties in a twist over the rumors that the Samsung Galaxy S4 is coming out next year. On the one hand, we have to say, of course it is. That's how this works. Phones get better, new models come out. But knowing that doesn't mean we know when the phone will come out or what it'll have. Recent rumors from a Korean site suggest that it will have a 5-inch screen and a 1080p HD display. Benchmarks on Nina Mark's site suggest that it will run Android 5.0, but will only be 720p. Our producer Sarah and I have money that we'll see it at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona at the end of February. Which I think is too soon. Next, my favorite of all the rumors, next generation consoles from Microsoft and Sony. These rumors heat up and then die down almost as fast as we can report them. It is obvious there will be new consoles, but we just don't know when or what. For the Xbox, most recent speculations are that it'll be ready for the 2013 holiday season. As for features, reports include Kinect 2.0, a Blu-ray drive, an enhanced controller, and an AV port for watching and recording broadcast TV shows. Basically, it's going to shoot unicorns out of its butt. <laughs> Rumors for the PS4 have it coming out during the holidays next year as well. As for features, they range from excellent 3D gaming at 1080p to the games coming out on Blu-ray discs or as downloadable content like with the PS Vita. What we do know is that the current gen consoles have been around for almost 10 years and although they're excellent, perhaps it's time for a refresh. Our final rumor development next year is a necessity that the super crisp 4K TVs will be commercially available for a way, way lower price. Current Sony 4K TVs start at $25,000. What else can you get for 25K? A car. A wedding. A home movie theater. A down payment on a house. 25 MacBook Airs. Oh, for that matter, 25,000 hamburgers from the McDonald's dollar menu. Yuck. Okay, yum. Now, we saw the first 4K TVs at CES earlier this year, and everyone went goo gaga over their lifelike picture quality that was like looking through a window. Personally, my vision is so imperfect that I was incredibly underwhelmed. Or maybe you weren't standing at the right distance. CNET's Jeff Morrison writes that your eyes have a finite resolution, and at the distance that most people sit away from their TVs, it's unlikely that you'll even be able to tell the difference. Huh. Finally, our comment of the week comes from Garfnody, or Garf and Odie, who writes of the rumor that iOS will be getting a Microsoft Office app, My biggest problem with Office on mobile devices is the subscription model. I do not like paying a monthly fee to use an app. Give me free or premium, not freemium or subscription. Here, here. That's our show, everybody. Please share your rumors at rumorhasit at cnet.com or call us at 1-800-750-CNET and tweet us. Happy holidays, everyone, and have a great new year.